what do you get when you cross an archaeological dig site and an aging folk musician in the rural countryside of England? Well, I'm going to tell you. And Book Nook Noggin here with another book review, and this time I'm reviewing by Adam Neville, The Reddening. This clocked in at 415 pages, and boy, oh boy, was I in for a huge, huge surprise. This book was so good. I did not expect it to be as good as it turned out to be. Um, this is a very fast-paced book. Um... Adam Neville does not hold any punches back. He starts right from the get-go. This book starts out with action and you're kind of the suspense building and trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I have to throw in that this is my first time ever reading um, Neville. I had seen an adaptation of his book The Ritual on Netflix, but that's about the only experience I had had with this author before reading this. Now, I kind of threw out that little teaser there about this book, and I kind of have to be careful what I can say about this book without, you know, spoiling it. Now, uh, there was a time, at first, it is fast-paced, and the action just happens right from the get-go, right in the first chapter you're drawn in to the story trying to figure out what's going on and at first I thought this was going to be a three star book for me but when we got to the halfway mark it really ramped up um, things really started to progress a lot quicker and reveal a lot more stuff going on um, because one of the problems why I was thinking it was going to be a three star book for me because I kept thinking that this was like Wrong Turn meets Clan of the Cave Bears. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. How would this, how could this happen on a little tiny island, you know, that is Britain? You know, it didn't make sense to me until I got to the halfway point And then, like, things started to ramp up and a little more was revealed of what was going on. And it made me like this book that much more. And it just got more twisted the farther it got. Um, I'm going to say flat out, if you are not a fan of gore, you're probably going to be turned off by some of this because there were a few very explicit scenes involving the murders of a few people. And... Yeah, and there is the talk of cannibalism and stuff like that. So if you need those kind of trigger warnings, they're there. I'm letting you know that that's what goes down in this book. Um, yes, this book is very, very British. Um, but not so British that if you're not familiar with uh, British slang and vernacular, you're, you're, you're still going to get this. Let's just say that. Uh, but it is very British in its language. It's like I said, it's fast paced. I I enjoyed it. I I'm gonna go back for some more Neville books because I really enjoyed this. The cover alone was what made me intrigued by this. You know, this whole red faced kind of wolfish dog face kind of thing going on had me intrigued. And I tried not to read the synopsis because I really wanted to go into this blind. I just knew it was kinda going to be folk horror of some type. And I'm not, I wasn't let down. It is very worthwhile checking out. Um, like I said, it kind of had those feels in the beginning of Wrong Turn meets Clan of the Cave Bear. And you're going to have to read it for yourself to understand why I said that. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's not much more I could say. You know, I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but... You know, it is worth checking out. For those of you in the U.S., I am going to have a link to Amazon where you can pick this up for yourself. For you international folks, I'm going to have the bookshop.org link. And if you don't mind, buy me a coffee or two. Help support my channel. I'm not getting AdSense. So, oh, so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. And then I heard that once you hit 1,000, you still have to get that watch time. So I'm going to keep doing the affiliate links 
Even if I hit a thousand, I'm probably still going to do the affiliate links. But that's all I got for you guys. There isn't really too much more I could say about this. Other than that, you know, like, the book was rather interesting and very intriguing at times. It had, like, moments of high suspense going for it. That's one of the reasons why I really enjoyed this. And I gave it a 4 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. If you guys came here looking for book reviews and book recommendations, by all means, hit that subscriber button and hit that notification bell while you're at it. This has been Dan. This has been The Reddening by Adam Neville. Till next time, stay healthy and be good to each other.